Keith, not the most pleasing game on the eye, but it's important to win when it's like that. Yeah, I think the, uh, the supporters that would have come today, uh, ultimately they walk away happy because of the, the second half performance. First half, disjointed, uh, couldn't get into a rhythm and a flow because of poor decision making on the ball. Poor decision making uh, of where, when, who and why uh, for the delivery that was, uh, that was required. But the, the important thing is that the within it, this, uh, within the squad, um, there was enough to change it. And, and, and I put myself and my staff uh, as part of that, as being part of the change as well. Because second half, uh, more like us. And you've got to say, very simple, the, the instructions at half-time. But earning the right to play uh, and then playing rather than just thinking you know make it an open expansive game against a team that's got good dynamic good dynamics uh, good um, good numbers uh, in the right areas to play the game how they wanted to play and we didn't pick it up and didn't grasp it early enough to to bypass the midfield uh, and play in and around their final third uh, and get ourselves on the front foot we tried to we tried to play through uh, and it wasn't on the play through so it was a, it was a day that we had to make changes at half time i would be you say um, i had to do my job at half time um, change the focus of the team tell a, tell a few people uh, exactly where they were going wrong uh, and but also then what was needed to rectify it individually and collectively and i've got one of the one of the things i said at half time was good teams uh, when, the, when, the, when everything's going well, good players play well. Um, very good players have discipline and understanding of what to do when things aren't going your way. And I thought second half we did that very well. And we looked we looked a more accomplished team. We looked more uh, more of a unit and more of an attacking threat. Even so, uh, things still didn't go our way, but we had a better understanding of where we wanted to put the ball. And we looked more of an attacking animal. And part of that. Improved performance is your decision to make the two changes that proved to be p pivotal, important to the game. Yeah, I think it was, it was the decision that the team needed at the time and it made it um, uh, more of a focus uh, about getting the ball into wide areas uh, and playing uh, in, into areas. So, you know, part and parcel of my job is to, is to be brave enough to make decisions and not be blinded by, uh, by personnel or characters. It's, it's the betterment of the team is right. And again, yeah, players understand that they knew things weren't going our way at half time but you know, when things aren't going your way we still haven't, con we still haven't conceded which is pleasing so it shows again there is a backbone uh, in that changing room um, it, it was our work today playing against a team that are below us in the division but fighting for their lives a few new additions uh, coming in a few change rounds in personnel uh, of the, the expected starting uh, formation and line up for, for them but, and again, you can see they will cause teams uh, problems. It's probably easier for them to play the way they want to play away from home. Less pressure, um, less expect expectancies on them. Uh, and again, they're coming to a ground where the expectations uh, are risen are high. Uh, and sometimes it can be a frustrating place to play when, th when things don't go our way. But the, the strength we've got within the group is where things aren't going our way. Uh, we're prepared to work and we're prepared to, to dig in. Another reminder for the lads, the minute they got at it, the crowd got behind them. These fans really willed them on to the win today. Yeah, they did. The crowd played a big part. In the first half, they showed their disappointment. Uh, and the, the disappointment uh, was heard, not only by myself, but by the players as well. Uh, and that's part and parcel of this football club. If you're not happy, uh, speak your mind. Uh, and if things can get changed, they will get changed. Um, but again, uh, I'm, I'm ne never going to criticise the crowd for showing their displeasure. Because, let me tell you, uh, at booing or anything like that was, uh, was called for... Um, there's plenty of that at half time.